Hi, it's Amanda here, Creative Gardener. So, on Friday, we had um, the hurricane pass us, I think it's Elsa, um, came through Barbados and um, affected the whole island. So, quite a few people, um, I'm, I've not yet heard reports of, you know, if anybody lost their life, but, um, Lots of people's house fronts, roofs were blown away and um, so whilst thank goodness all we had was, um, whilst all we had was, um, what we had was a lot of flooding, we had a flooding in my studio um, both upstairs and it came through the front door and um, in the house we've discovered some leaks as well. So what I'm going to do is go around the garden and see, you know, what's happened out there. Um, I've noticed, well, let's go and look. Okay, so as you imagine, it was very windy. The boots that I'm wearing are actually still <laughs> wet, <laughs> but I have no choice. So I've had to just put a bag in. Anyway, so the makeshift fence I made, that blew away. I just sorted that out yesterday and um, lots of things were just blown all over the place um, it doesn't look so bad right now but you'll see when we get round this is um, this particular where my makeshift bridge is is where um, the water runs from next door and because we're on a slope it runs down here and along here into the well so I've got to clean that so that's all the debris from the leaves that was there but it's only the other day that I was talking to the plants and said that, let's see, look at all of that, um, that they had to be cut back. And I think I'm being bitten. It's just bitten on my small finger, piggy finger. So all of this has to be cleared. Um, so around this bit, it doesn't look too bad. But like the um, mosquito was actually in my glove. Um, so this bit's, oh, <laughs> okay, so the cassava needs to be, and I think it's too young, it's not ready yet, so I'm going to have to take that up, see what else was affected, um, yeah, I briefly, because it was still wet out here, I briefly was able to come and have a look, so let me look at the back here. I noticed that the hedge came into a hedge is blown over because the uh, Mexican sunflower was really tall. Oh, my neighbours! Oh, banana trees—they all came down. Oh dear! And look here, this this all fell down. That's his entrance to the um, his storage container with his tools, so... Wow, okay. So something I can tackle today. And here at the back here, they've all fallen backwards. Um, this has fallen backwards, so I'm going to have to cut them down. Um, most of the trees are okay. Oh, this one is leaning. This is uh, my Moringa tree, one of my Moringa trees. I'm glad, no, the neem tree, the neem tree looks like it's toppling over, but it's, it's not. Got a big snail. Can you see it? Oh, there's a little copper start there. Yeah, so mostly, so on this section, it's just the cassava. And, uh, sorry about this. <laughs> walking into loads of this one looks like it looks like it was leaning it's leaning <laughs> so I might have to trim it and see what I can do um, so let's go over to this side now so everything kind of looks as is the 
thing that seems to have a problem is sugar cane. It's, it feels really weird out here now, so it's, it's, um, it feels really muggy. So we've had all that water, all that rain, and then the sun is coming up. The ground has been saturated with water. Yeah, so the really bad thing that happened. Look at this, my planting. And this would, would have been the one that would have uh, uh, fruited, bore, front, bore planting. And it just snapped. Yeah, just bent over. So I'm going to have to cut that. There are pups growing around. So hopefully, I mean, this would be the next one to... Uh, But yeah, my three-legged chair. <laughs> so uh, I guess it's just the when you're looking at the floor, it's just all of the um, drumsticks from the papaya trees that are on the floor, and uh, some fruit. So my pomegranates. I'm going to have to see if they're okay. Um, if not, the birds will eat them. Yeah, so just a lot of uh, this. And let's go this way. Sugar cane. I tried to replant this, but it didn't look like it survived. And then all the debris from every single <laughs> pod from the shack shack tree blew off. Anyway, so that's that's. And then, yeah, where my neighbour is, um, it's kind of blown over. I mean, lucky we don't, he doesn't plant anything there, so. He mentioned he might be. But um, where I've got uh, taller trees, I think they've helped with the smaller trees apart from. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick update and show you what's kind of how it's the front is 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 fine. It's just around the back here where we're producing food and uh, trying to create a food forest. But I think, generally speaking, um, it's minimal. Um, and you just have to give thanks. I mean, where something was like all my, most of my nonies have fallen off. It was so, um, I've never been experienced anything. And apparently this is the first one in 65 years. So this, I'll have to check how far over onto the path it's going um, and cut it back on the other side. Yeah, generally speaking. It's useful having the hedge, especially at the front, because the wind was blowing towards me, so towards the west, east-westerly. Um, a few branches broke from this. how that's bro oh yeah so it's snapped off that's as is <laughs> that looked like that already again it's just more oh, leaf damage than anything else but everything generally speaking the grass is really growing
yeah, so quite a lot of damage was done in my studio. Um, some of my pieces of work got wet and um, there was more water that had come in than I'd realised. I'd mopped up quite a bit and uh, when I went in this morning there was a kind of a weird, you know like when cardboard has got wet um, and I realised it had gone under uh, a cabinet that I had. But, uh, left the door open so it can air out a bit and then I'm just going to have to move everything. It's just like, it's like a big, um, yeah, you just have to do what you have to do. I think, you know, when you think about how, well, some people, depending on where you are on the island, you would have had your whole house flooded or like there was a, a, a family down the road from us who had the front of their house taken off you just have to um, this is a small amount of a very small amount in the bigger scheme of things so um, we'll just get on with it you know and then you give help where you can to others all right so that's the garden for now and um, I'll be back next week with sharing with you uh, a new plant that's uh, that I've discovered or that's grown really well um, take care for now and yeah stay blessed and uh, be a blessing